Hello guys, welcome to another video. In the previous videos, we have created a few buttons and a few sliders to our GUI. Now, in this video, we will be adding a few radio buttons to our GUI, which will be used uh, to apply different kinds of filters to our image. So, let's get started. I'll create a new Python file and we'll name it as image editor underscore v3 v3 okay we'll copy paste our previous code all right so i want to add the radio buttons in another frame so let us first create the frame so i'll call it as frame 3 and this will be equal to ticket dot frame this will be appearing on window and height will be equal to 20 we will pack this and anchor it to the north side Now let us create a few radio buttons. Uh, I'll be applying four kinds of uh, uh, filters to our image. So that will be like yellow, blue, pink, and orange. So let us create uh, uh, the radio buttons of those names. So first I'll create yellow button and this will be equal to TK dot radio button. All right. And uh, this will be appearing on frame 3 so first parameter will be frame 3 and uh, we'll just give it a text text will be equal to yellow we'll just pack this so yellow button dot grid and we'll be using row equal to zero and column equal to zero let us try to run this you can see a yellow button radio button has appeared over the screen so let us create a uh, rest of the radio buttons so we'll create a blue button and this will be equal to tk dot radio button this will be also appearing on frame 3 and text will be equal to blue we'll pack this so blue button dot grid row will be equal to 0 and column will be equal to 1 next will be the pink button so pink button will be equal to tk dot radio button again this will be appearing on frame 3 and text will be equal to pink we'll pack this so pink button dot grid and row will be equal to 0 and column will be equal to 2 and our fourth button is going to be orange so orange button will be equal to tk dot radio button this will be also appearing on frame 3 and text will be equal to orange we'll pack this so orange button dot grid and this will be equal to row 0 and 
column will be equal to 3. Okay, that's it. Let us run this. Or let's see if all four buttons have appeared. Other than this, I want to add one more button which will be none. So if you want to apply no filter, so none will be selected. So we'll create our last button. None button. This will be equal to TK dot radio button appearing on frame 3 and text will be equal to none and uh, we'll pack this none button dot grid row will be equal to 0 and column will be equal to okay let us run this okay so all five buttons have been appearing on the screen so but here is a problem you can see all the buttons are selected I don't want all the buttons to be selected at once and the second thing is the buttons are way too crowded at one place so I want them I want a little spacing between them so let us create some space first so for that we'll add a parameter called as width and uh, this will be equal to let's say 30 i'll just copy this and uh, paste it for rest of the buttons this all right this looks much better now I want none to be selected by default if, if you see when I'm clicking on any of these buttons none is being selected or not selected at any time all are just selected by default so we'll have to fix this issue so for this what we'll do is uh, we'll have to give a value to each of those buttons so for that we'll add one more parameter and this is called as value and let us give unique names to each of these buttons so here for yellow button i have given value equal to one for blue button value will be equal to two for pink button value will be equal to three for orange button value will be equal to four and for none button value will be equal to 5 ok let us run this once again now if you see by default oh, all were selected but when I clicked on one of the button one of the button got selected let us say if I click on pink pink will be selected if I click on none none will be selected but if I run this again you see by default all the buttons are being selected so I just want that none to be selected by default so for that we'll just call a method called as none button dot select and what this will do it will only select the none button let us run this you can see the none button is selected by default and the rest of the buttons are not selected at all so this is what we want and uh, let us continue now the last thing that is remaining over here is uh, the method that it is going to be called when you click over a button so for that we'll add the parameter called as command and we'll call a callback function so for yellow button we'll just write yellow button underscore callback similarly for rest of the buttons we'll add callback function so command will be equal to blue button underscore callback for pink button command will be equal to pink button underscore callback for orange button command will be equal to orange button underscore callback and for none button 
command will be equal to none button underscore callback all right let us define all this methods first we are just currently going to pass in all this uh, definitions later on we will be adding all the functionalities so let us define hello button underscore callback and uh, we'll just pass similarly define blue button underscore callback and here also we'll pass then define pink button underscore callback pass and orange button oops define define orange button underscore callback and here also will pass and last is define none button underscore callback and here will just pass all right so i guess everything is ready now we have uh, error here pink button underscore callback pink button underscore callback Let us run this. Okay, uh, so our radio buttons are working perfectly fine now, and that is it for this video, guys. So, see you in the next one. Thank you.